is very scattered, but I'm walking you through the week as it happened to me. And I think that's what's including Mindy. We all go to dinner at Boa Steakhouse here in Los Angeles. I'm with Ashley. I'm with Ashley's boyfriend, Michael. I'm with Mindy, Ari, Yayan, Amari, our entire friend group. We asked Paul from Boa and he's like, okay, just letting you know, we have availability in the back room. There's one other group. It's another like table of celebrities. Like they're not gonna, and every single one of my friends is looking at me <laughs> like this. What? What's up guys? And they're like, behind my very head, behind my very table, it's 35 people having a single release party for my ex's song about me. My last thoughts. I wonder what Jeff ever did. Did he go home? He didn't hit me up. That's kind of weird. He's never really left my house without telling me or talking to me. So I FaceTime Jeff, cause I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm hoping Mindy just like went home. He's somewhere. Maybe he'll come over at 8 a.m. and fuck me because that's how I am. Sometimes I'll get fucked at 8 a.m. As I'm calling him, I walk out of my room and the FaceTime is ringing. And I walk right out here and there's a balcony and I look down to the first floor. And on the first floor I see Mindy wide awake. Hair like this everywhere hair messed up eyelash falling off big t-shirt on I've never seen Mindy spend a day in the movie room a night in the movie room let alone at 8 a.m Let alone this disheveled and then I go Let's talk! I want to talk! Come to the movie room! I want to talk! I walk down in the movie room She walks back in because she sees me and I walk in and I look at the both of them I shit you not they look like deer in headlights. They're like and I'm like um, why is it a bad time? What are you even fucking talking about, Mindy? And then Jeff is like, it's not what it looks like. Please talk to me. Forgive me. In my movie room. Like, y'all couldn't have gone down the street. You're gonna talk my assistant's ear off when she could be like, getting to this bread. Uh, she said to me that she wanted to hook up with him, but like, she would never do that to you. And she already told you that you couldn't hook up with anyone she liked. So she couldn't do that with someone you fucked with. Like, and I'm literally <laughs> laying in Hunter's arm. Listen, you were screaming, I can't believe this dumbass bitch you did this in my house. And she's just sitting up in Tana's bed. Eating Chick-fil-A in my house. <laughs> Like to where I can watch it on my camera. It's not that you fuck Jeff Mindy. It's that now I know you would fuck anyone I would ever fuck. And I don't think that's chill. <laughs> and so then I just start spiraling about all the times she said Jake would fuck her because she looks like me. All the time. All the time she said Jake would fuck her because she looks like me. Story time is back because life has just not been easy. I still have my true writers by my side. Ashley, Amari, Ari, Yayan, Hunter. That's about it. Fuck you, Mindy. And next time you want to suck my pussy pussy off of any genitalia. Just let me know. Jeff, I hate you just as much, but it just sucks because unfortunately you gave me such good day. To my ex-boyfriend who made that lovely record about, I've cheated, I've lied, and I just don't think I was that shitty to this person. Shout out Alex Cooper. She also reminded me of all of the things that I do need to tell you guys stories about. It's always the bitch they tell you not to worry about. <laughs> so the full moon was amazing. Really showed me the true intentions of everyone around me. And now my circle is smaller than ever, but better than ever. <laughs> Sometimes that's just how life goes, you know? I could look at this as a negative thing, but if all of those people were willing to fuck on me in the ways they have over the past few weeks, I probably don't need them! Let me know in the comments below anything you want to know a story about or anyone you want me to expose because I no 